Okay, river crossing. Okay, let's check. Oh gosh, they're running towards us. Yes, and then you tie them in the back. I'm James Dalrymple, and I have the privilege of directing this Book of Mormon uh, documentary series, A Marvelous Work. Now, Scott, you take one step forward and then rotate, um, yeah, 90 degrees clockwise. We can, we can do she all said that. She can take those hoses off. And cut. Nailed it. We just came back from a trip to Guatemala with a stopover in Tennessee where we just had some amazing experiences. Guatemala is such a beautiful place and the people are amazing. We were with Scott Christopher, who's our host, and Scott is always a lot of fun. This is what happens to your kind of your shot list uh, episode guide. When uh, you put it in your back pocket in a, a harsh and uh, moist environment, namely my back pocket, but also here in La Hungla. <laughs> so the process of finding our host for this show was quite the ordeal. We had so many auditions and interviews for, for hosts, and we were blessed enough to find Scott Christopher. You know Scott from movies like The Best Two Years. Um, Scott has been in a lot of LDS films and shows, and he is so much fun. He definitely brings a very lighthearted vibe to uh, the set. I just walked up to her and said, And what I like about Scott that you will see all throughout the series is he's very relatable, you know, on and off the camera. There's many times where, you know, we weren't rolling the camera and we're just driving or we're hiking through the jungle. He was able to bear testimony to me of these evidences. And he's a very well-rounded human being and I'm super excited for you all to get to know him throughout the series. Yeah, so I was in San Pedro when we were there uh, to do the to go out onto the lake. I took a break, needed to get my land legs back for a second, and uh, went for a little walk in the town. And I ran across. I just saw a lady sitting at a cafe. She had a book open, and it was a big book of scripture, all marked up in yellow. You know, this was in Spanish. I said, "Hey, it looks like you're. What are you reading there? The Bible?" Yes, yes, I am. I said, "Oh gosh, Isaiah! Wow!" And I started to explain to her, "If you like Jesus and you like reading about," him and his gospel, you will love a book that I would love to give you as a gift. And it was so cool to be on this quest, this project, you know, a marvelous work and to be able to describe it to her. And I, and I literally did like the, you know, what you're taught as a missionary when you're committing them. You know, I, I, I said, lo harás, you know, like, Will you do it? <laughs> and she, she said, yes. I'm like, okay, my work here is done. The thing about going to Guatemala and going to Tennessee wasn't really so much about the location as it is about a search for evidence for the Book of Mormon. The Book of Mormon is a marvelous work. It's the keystone of our religion it's miraculous that this book has come forth. And for us to be able to tell the story of the evidence for the divinity of the Book of Mormon, it's so profound and so powerful. On a marvelous work, we are running pretty slim. We're a pretty small crew because we're doing a lot of traveling and we have to be pretty flexible with our itinerary. 
So on A Marvelous Work, I was the audio engineer and the behind the scenes videographer. So what that means is I was the guy with the boom pole recording audio and I got to hear every little thing that Scott, our host, said and I also got to basically tune out everyone else because when I have those headphones on, I can't hear anything except for what's going straight into the mic. You talk about going out to someplace like El Mirador, which if you don't, if you never heard of El Mirador, this is a Maya ruin site out in the Guatemalan jungle. And the only way to get there is either to hike for five days through the jungle or to take a helicopter. And we opted for the helicopter, obviously, because we couldn't afford to spend five days just trekking for a, a single location. We ended up taking that helicopter in, and it's very strange, but the night before, the whole crew said, you know what, I feel like we should cut our shoot short tomorrow. The plan was to stay there all day and wait until the evening when the light was nice and golden, and we we're gonna do this hero shot with Scott on top of the Maya pyramid, and we decided to change plans, and everyone was okay with it. It just felt like the right change to make. Well, we went out the next day, and we came back, and as we were coming back at around 2.30, a storm started rolling in, and it started raining really, really hard. And we were able to get off, and you know everything was great, but we found out the next day that the helicopter had gone back out, and it had crashed. It had been hit by lightning, and it had crashed, and everyone that was in there got severely injured. Uh, luckily, no one died, but we would have been on that flight. And so that was a very sobering, uh, realization that we, I mean, how else can you put it but attribute it to God, you know, and to the Spirit uh, telling us, whispering to us that that was the right thing to do. We would have still been in a hospital in Guatemala right now if we had not followed that prompting. the Book of Mormon, the power of a marvelous work and wonder. As the Book of Mormon comes forth in this, the last dispensation of the fullness of times, it will change people's lives. It is changing people's lives. And we as a team here at Scripture Central, working on this amazing documentary series, have the privilege to participate in to witness the miracle of the Book of Mormon in these last days and how grateful I am to be a part of that. <laughs>